What's up guys, Dwayne Richens, Real D 2 d I'm going to talk to you about my real estate journey. Now I'm going into my eighth year of real estate. It's been one of the best rides ever. And so I want to kind of tell you what to kind of look for, what to expect. And not everybody's going to have the same story that I have because they haven't put in the number of hours I've put into door knocking to have the same success. But it doesn't mean you can't get there. So let's dive in. Um, my story starts with buying real estate and finding out that most real estate agents aren't very good salespeople. They don't have the connection skills, they don't ask the right questions, they're not aggressive, they're not hungry, and in reality, most agents don't work very hard. And so I thought, man, I should dive into real estate and I should do it a little bit different. I don't know of anybody that ever has knocked a door for real estate consistently. Now, a lot of people say I knock doors and they do about 10 or 15 doors around an open house and they call themselves door knockers. Guys, you don't knock doors unless you're knocking doors from 2 till dark 30. That's what I want to see door knockers doing. And I didn't know of anybody that did that. So I says, hey, I'm going to be the first. So I dove in early stages of my career. I'm going to be honest with you. I was scared to death. I was leaving an income around $500,000. And I'm like, I don't know if this will work for real estate. It worked for alarms. I did really well in alarms. But I don't know if this will work for real estate. This is a big transaction. I don't know if clients will engage with me, trust me enough to sell their house. And so I just had to try it. So I dove in. And my first month, I sold 10 homes. Now, guys, it was awesome. But I didn't know the slightest thing about real estate. They don't teach you all the things in real estate school you need to know to sell houses. And so I struggled with paperwork. I messed up so much paperwork and I didn't know what a property report was. Um, I didn't know anything about a lot of the things you have to deal with the title, the PRs, the title reports, the you know, out the statements, all these different things, right? And so here I am just winging it. I'm a salesperson, I'm gonna go out and sell, I'm gonna connect with people. So I sold 10 houses. I took month two off, so I didn't know how to orchestrate an inspection, I didn't know how to orchestrate through a uh, appraisal, uh, through all these different things, seller's disclosures. I'm like, holy cow, this is a lot coming at me. And so I dabbled in that as I went back and sold alarms again. And so month three came along and I went out and sold 14 homes. And then I took month four off again because I'm like, holy crap, I still don't know what I'm doing. And I've got to figure all these details out so that I can give my clients the best service. Now, was it hard? Yes. Did I have a lot to learn? Yes. Was cold calling effective? No, it wasn't. In fact, I tried cold calling uh, early in the morning because I knew I couldn't knock doors until the afternoon. And cold calling just wasn't as effective as what I wanted. So I would literally start at 11 or 12 o'clock and drive around to expireds and for sale owners and knock on their door because I didn't want to call them. I was tired of being the 50 or 60th person that had called them. And so I was something different and I could connect with them personally and I could ask them questions and I could see their their facial expressions and read them. And that is where I was able to find success earlier on in the day. Then we dove into, I dove into a lot of social media early in the morning, from like eight to noon. I'm doing social media stuff. I'm posting about real estate. I'm, I'm recording videos. I'm talking about real estate. And I'm helping my audience know that I'm all in. I'm investing time into learning what the market's doing and what trends are and where people need to go to find the right homes and what they should be looking at and thinking about. And I started to build a big network that way. And we, we just built a social media course. If you guys haven't seen this yet, uh, we'll put in the link right here. This social media course is phenomenal. Make sure you jump on our website and check that out. But I started doing a lot of social media stuff and every time I had success, I posted that success. And it was awesome because people kind of started seeing my success and then were reaching out to me saying, Dwayne, you are killing it. And so it was really fun to see that as I started to progress, I could consistently have 10 under contract at all times. It wasn't hard to do. And I don't think it's hard for you guys to do either. I think the biggest problem we run into is most people don't get in front of enough people. They don't practice their scripts enough. And I feel like script practice is so important because you've got to be comfortable saying what you're saying. Now, in our groups, and our coaching program, our team side, for real, if you're looking for an awesome team, guys, I'd love to have you um, in Real Broker with us and we'll teach you to sell lights out. But bottom line is we do role play twice a day. Twice a day, five days a week, you guys, because it's so important. So if you want to get into a role play session, we also offer that separately and it's 199 bucks a month, best money you'll ever spend. So make sure you comment role play or team if you want more information on that. And you can also check out our coaching stuff. But the, the bottom line that I want to get to is knowing what to say. So I put in the hours. I went out and knocked the doors. People ask me today on our coaching site, how many doors did you knock? And I was like, you know, I don't actually know, but I knocked 
knocked so many doors until I was able to put 10 under contract. That was my barrier. And after my first year, it was then 20 under contract. So I had to have 20 under contract at all times. And that was my new level, my new bar. And once I had 10 under contract my first year, I went to building other systems and platforms. And after I had 20 under contract my second year, then I could go start working on administrative tasks and hiring staff and, and recruiting more agents and, and building you know the business side of it behind it. But you have to get out and sell the homes. Now here's the neat part, you guys. After doing this for two years, I was able to walk away from prospecting completely. And that is what you should be looking for. Because once you have your time from prospecting, which was taking me six to eight hours a day of being on doors every day, that's when you get your life back and you can start building other things. Now, the neat thing about that, when I say I stopped prospecting, I was still able to sell over $30 million a year in real estate without knocking on a door. And I did it in two years. There's so many people out there that are 20 years in the business and they're still on the calls. They're still hounding people. They're still aggressively looking for business. You've got to build your business smart and it's not easy. It takes work. So you've got to get out there. You need to be doing 250 to 400 contacts a week. That's people you've actually talked to. And if you can do that, you're going to have success. But the minute you stop prospecting, before you've built a big business, your pipeline's gonna dry up, your under contracts are gonna close, and got to continuously be building that until it sustains itself with people calling you. So don't think you can just sit back and wait for deals to come to you. It is a valuable lesson you've got to learn. You've got to learn that I've got to get out and hustle. I've got to work hard and I've got to do this. I've got to invest in myself. I've got to read books. I've got to hire a coach. I had a coach. My first in re- year in real estate, I had a coach. Was it for sales? No, it wasn't. It was for business building. My coach was an attorney. Sue Langston, if you're out there, shout out to you. You were awesome. But she held me to the fire. She told me who I needed to hire, who I needed to fire, how fast to grow, what was sustainable. She had built a real estate business and sold it. That's what I wanted. And yet she still held me accountable to the numbers I said I would do. And had she not done that, I may not have hit as high as what I hit because I made great money. Now, having that is important because you've got to get to a point where you have someone that is pushing you to go further faster. And if you do, you're going to win. You're going to win. So that being said, if you are not being coached, if you're not being trained, if you're not currently practicing your scripts as many times as I'm talking about it, you've got to make some changes if you're not where you want to be. So decide for yourself what it's worth. I had one of our agents reach out uh, today and he said, shout out to Dwayne Richens and coach Jeremy Davis because today I got a 3% on a deal that I typically would have taken 2%, but I used the skill set and training and it helped him make an extra $7,000. Is that pays for a lot of role play sessions. It pays for a lot of coaching. It pays for a lot of trainings that we have on our website. All you have to do is put into practice what we've learned. Saw today in coaching, he applied one of Jeremy's expired scripts and and went out and picked up a deal this morning before a coaching program. He also went out yesterday and picked up a buy and sell out of New York and it was all door knocking. He found the buyer and the seller both door knocking and the, the buyer bought his listing in the neighborhood. Guys, that's the power of door knocking. So I'd love to see what you guys are seeing. I've also got a comment from Steven out of California that said he bought my scripts course and he said, Dwayne, as soon as I bared down and I, I looked at the scripts and studied them and went out his first day within 24 hours picked up a client and got signed documents his first time going out and applying the scripts that we're teaching you guys were giving so much information out here and if there's other people that, that are watching this YouTube channel Facebook Instagram that have had that success post it I want people to see that this actually works the details we're giving you guys work and you will find success if you apply it but you can't just sit back and watch you have to get out and apply it because if you don't it's not going to work for you. Guys, comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and message us role play or team. And we'd love to chat with you more about those things that we can help you with. Have a great day, you guys.